two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Back in Sweden. Yes. And back with my dear, sweet, heterosexual life mate. Welcome home. Matthias. Yes. And uh, yeah, we're, we're back in Sweden. Or I'm back in Sweden anyway. Well, I've been here all yeah, along. Just longingly waiting for me to return. With your little goodie bag of uh, drinks. Yes. Um, and so we are uh, in my courtyard in my apartment building because it's such a lovely afternoon. Uh, we thought, hey, let's, um, let's do some recording. Let's do some, some, some podding. Well, it was mostly an excuse to drink beer, right? Exactly. <laughs> hey, hang out and drink beer. Yeah. Like, we need to hang out and drink beer. Oh, let's do some podcasting as well. We said, let's yes. just record in the meantime as That's well. That's an excellent, excellent decision. It's a perfect Friday afternoon. Exactly. Um, so yeah, sun's out. The cool breeze blowing. It all feels good. And today we have two IPAs I brought back with me from the U.S. Yep. And if you've been following our Instagram account, then you have seen photos of these beers, at least the cans. Um, and I think even one of them might feature it as a as a photo itself. Yeah, I think you did. Um, first up, we have the Firestone Leo versus Ursa Infernos. Or Ursus. Ursus, sorry. Infernos, uh, which is part of their Leo versus Ursus chronology. I think they have several of these um, oh. that they've released. This is just one of them. I thought uh, it was, uh, I thought that Leo versus Ursus was the beer name. I did not realize that it was uh, a sub brand. Yeah. Yeah. This is an Imperial Rye Ale. Um, coming in at 8.2%. It's a perfect start to the day. Yes, it is. Uh, and then we'll save the next beer for the next... Uh, for the next beer? The next beer, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So we'll start off here with our... So if you had, well, before we, I, we jump into this, yeah. um, have you had anything interesting over the past few weeks? Um, what have you been drinking since I've been away? I've been kind of... Well, I haven't been drinking that much, really, to be honest. Um, Disappointed in you, Matthias. I know, I know. No, we've been, since we are moving soon, we've been just packing boxes and shit. Yeah, well, I, so. I, that's a great time to drink beer. I know. Well, I did try the, um, I did try the Oud Bersel that came out, the sustained blog at the Oud mm-hmm. I thought it was quite nice, but I think it might need a little bit of time in the bottle. Yeah. To just mellow out a little bit. Yeah. I think the, um, I believe it was Bordeaux barrels it had been on. It was quite heavy on the barrel. Yeah. Uh, so I think that could benefit from a couple of months or, yeah, a little bit like that. So I think I that'll think be I really quite like that nice too, well. but I thought it was a little little green still. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Um, we tried two of the OO IPAs that came in cans uh, this past weekend. Mm-hmm. The, I believe it was the Citra Nelson Sauvin okay. and the Mosaic and Citra, I believe. Okay. Yeah, Mosaic and Citra. Um I thought I was going to enjoy the Nelson Sauvin variant more, um, but we both preferred the Mosaic and Citra a lot better. Oh, okay, interesting. But it was really nice to get the um, OO IPAs and cans. Yeah, yeah. I know they just started doing that. It's yeah. a yeah. new distribution model they have there. It's not, I guess, releasing really, to the Stimble Locket directly. They're going through uh, online retailers instead. Yeah, exactly. So we got ours from uh, Glossbanken, mm-hmm. the new, well, relatively new uh, Swedish online beer shop. Yeah. It was really fast. Like they packed it really well and it was a fast yeah, delivery no, I as well. So. Order from there recently too. I got yeah. um, another one of the OO um, IPAs and then I got a. Um, yeah, you got the Mosaic and Simcoe, right? Yeah. Yep. No, no, no. Uh, no? No, it was Matueka. Oh, Citra Equinot? Yeah, Citra Equinot. Citra Equinot. That's what it was. That one should be quite nice. Yeah, I really like the Equinot Hop. So yeah. I'm really excited about that one. That one in combination with Citra should be really nice. Yeah. And then I got the uh, the Wylums that they had. Yep. And then and I got a Wylum the, the latest as well. from uh, Nerd Brewing. Oh, the Ordinary, I believe. It was called? Milkshake Imperial Stout. Yeah. I believe it was called Ordinary or something, something like that. like that, yeah. Because yeah. I'm I, quite a big fan of theirs. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to uh, trying that. But I was really impressed. They shipped really fast. And yeah. And I got it within a couple of days. And it's the well-packed. packaging was really well packed. Did uh, you get a little fun written, handwritten note as well? Uh, you know, I didn't look at the note. I just, oh, you didn't was, look I at just the assumed note? it was the invoice, so I'll have to go back in and look at the. Yeah, uh, you should look at the note. They usually the note. write like a little personal message, which is kind of a nice touch. All right, well, I'll have to go in and look at that. Yeah. Then. We got the um, two well uh, milk stout variants as well, the vanilla yeah. and the bourbon one. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think the I think, prices are really good too. Yeah, was, the prices are good. I was really thrilled with that. Yeah, same here. Yeah. So that was nice. Yep. 
Okay, cool. So What's back to the Leo versus Ursus chronology. Infer- Infernos. Infer- Inferos. Inferos. Infernos. Inferos. 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 Stupid lack of ends. Yes. Okay. So this is a, uh, like I said, a rye IPA, and it is very dark. Rye double IPA. Yeah. It's quite hazy. Very much so. Um, but it smells mm. kind of sweet, a little caramelly. Yeah. It almost smells like a very hopped kind of a American barley wine ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could definitely see this maybe in a can for about a year turning into a, oh, a light barley wine. Yeah. It definitely has a barley wine kind of smell to it. Yeah. Which is really nice. Mm. All right, well, cheers. Cheers. So I got this in a four pack can. That's really easy to. It's a really easy to drink for eight point two percent. Yeah, yeah. I got this in a four pack can, and it was really hard not to drink all four. Yeah. So um, I really had to to resist not to bring not to drink the fourth one. <laughs> was, it was hard to hard to bring this one back because I freaking loved it. It was one of the. Um, it's really nice. Better, um, yeah, better IPAs I had, and uh, just so so easy to drink. It's incredibly easy to drink. <clears throat> for the ABV. And yeah. it doesn't taste boozy at all. No, no, it's really it's really light and kind yeah. of effervescent and just nice little sweetness in the aftertaste. And, yeah. um It really is like a session of barley wine, basically. Yeah. I really like this one. <laughs> I, I think I, Ryan not drink all four. Oh, Chandra's joining us. Hi, Chandra. I didn't see you sitting was that, over there. Was that a bit of a play on words? Yeah, Ryan not, oh. Ryan not all drink all four. All four. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Throwing that one in. Oh, so, yeah. Someone said she wasn't going to join us and be quiet, but now she's could not keep her mouth shut. She gets too tempted. Yeah. You must always say a pun. Oh, of course. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what do you like about this beer? I agree. It's easy to drink. Nice and flavorful, but uh, for 8.2, it's uh, not at all too much. No. I like the carbonation on it really well. Yeah. I think it's... Um, it's... Um, very effervescent and kind of light in the mouth. It doesn't uh, sit real heavy like you maybe think it would. No. I mean, it, um, you're just really, yeah. really, really feeding off this. I got so many words. Yeah, you're. Uh, <laughs> it's like you never. Rye can be you. Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes well, I, I mean, wonder if, you, if you're gonna sit there and come up with puns, you gotta like change them up a little bit. You can't yeah. just do the same Y pun oh. over and over. There's different ones. Well, it was the same one actually. I must think about this some more. Yes, you shall. Okay. Sometimes I wonder why I, I invite him to these things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you've really uh, exhausted the... Read a lot of commentary on this beer. I, I, I know. Why did you like it? Okay. Well, I've already said. Yeah. Tell us again. Oh, tell you again. Those of us that weren't listening the first time. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your problem, not mine. You can go back and listen to this episode when oh. it airs. Exactly. <laughs> No, but it's it's like I said, it's a session session barley wine ish. Easy to drink for the ABV. It's got a nice um, well as we've already touched, nice caramelly uh, touch to it. Hops don't come forward that much, and it's mm-hmm. not too bitter either. Um, I don't know. I think I would have liked a slightly more bitter, slightly more bitterness to it. To sort of offset that caramel, or yeah, a little yeah. bit, yeah. a little bit. I think it's just, I, I think that. it's just bitter enough. I like the the balance between the two because it does have a like when it rests, it doesn't rest sweet. It rests a little bit in the bitter on the back of the palate. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. So it doesn't just, it's not just like a, it doesn't overpower the, yeah. um, it's, it's, it's a good balance right between there. the sweet, yeah, exactly. It's a good it balance between right? the sweetness and the caramelly. And yeah, the, I got you. The, <laughs> another right pun. Oh, there you go. Good job. Like score. Now just find a third one. Okay. <laughs> How to keep Chandra quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her to think of a third one. <laughs> okay, so what would you give this one? Um, I'm probably going to go with a four. I think I've had this four times now, and every time I've had it, I like a little bit more. So I think I'm going to go, I think, a four, two, five. Yep. It's really really enjoyable and i wish i had more well i mean that's the thing right because it's we're almost out already of a full glass yes and i could still drink more of this oh yeah <laughs> what do you give it chandra a four yeah. i like it. excellent nice. it's just a 
really nice to have it outside. Yeah, yeah. It feels very summery. Summery. It yeah. does, yeah. Okay, so next up we have the Collective Brewing Project out of Fort Worth, Texas. I've never of heard of this brewery before. Brett series. And they do a whole series of Brett IPAs and, and Brett based beers. Which is one of my favorite styles. And this is a. Brett, your bottom dollar is your favorite <laughs> style. Oh, God. <laughs> that kind of hurt me a little bit. Yeah. It was a really good pun. Uh, just totally unexpected. It's a um, 6.5% um, ABV Funk House IPA called Brett Smashy. I really like their um, their logo design. It's very cartoony, comic bookish. It's like Marvel uh, superhero comics. Yeah, yeah. They definitely do the silk screen type of print yeah, yeah. Um, on here. And this will be the I think third beer I've had from them. Okay. And I really enjoyed the first two, so I have very very high hopes for this. What were the first two you had? Um, one was a the farmhouse uh, ale that was kind of a lower ABV, like a four point two. Um, there was a chicken on the outside of it, and then the other one, I think, was another Brett IPA, but mm -hmm. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Marcus sent me a, uh, a box, and I think there were two of them in there. Nice. So it's a smash IPA as well, so it's mm -hmm. a single malt, single hop, and then just added the Brettanomyces. Mm -hmm. It's a totally unique Texas Funk House IPA, according to the label. It smells absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's got <clears throat> all of the... Uh, all of the smell I want from a farmhouse IPA. Because mm. it's got kind of the tropical fruity mm -hmm. brick in it, which is just a really mm. nice addition to uh, to the hops. Yeah, it's, it really smells like a farmhouse ale. Yeah. Um, it's just uh, kind of tart in the nose, uh, citrusy, with that breadiness to it. It reminds me a lot of uh, the first Brett IPA I did, the Hop Funk. Yeah. The color is got kind of a golden, it's very cloudy. It's a golden hazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like orange juice color. Uh -huh. Yeah, kind of. All right. Carbonation was quite heavy on this as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mine's still really had this a... Um, a while ago, and there's still um, a ring of um, foam across the top. Yeah. And when it's you agitate yours, it just... Easily agitated. Right yeah. yeah. Just like Chandra, cool. easily agitated. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Wow, that's really, like it. really light and dry. Yeah, much more than I thought it would be. I think there's probably more than one, one strain of Brett in this as well because it's got the tropical fruity notes on mm -hmm. the smell, but you get some of the, um, like the hay and the horse blanket and stuff like that mm -hmm. in the in the taste. Oh, so I think yeah, there's uh, bugs are various Brettanomyces. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. So it's definitely more than one Brett strain in it. Yeah. So you get both the good stuff from the tropical strains and you get the farmhouse funk as well. But it's a really nice balance between the two. Yeah, I agree. Um, oh, now he's the one with the few words. Well, I was about to elaborate more on that <laughs> and then you cut me off there. You <laughs> were so wowed by your words. I was. You were uh, so inspiring like, by your... Finally, he says something more than yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> My turn to be like... Si, yep. senor. <laughs> So did, yeah, did you little, bring uh, more bottles of this? I did not. I only bought the one. Um, well, beer that, was from a, them. that was a dumb move. I know, I know. I uh, wish I could have bought more. But it was actually pretty expensive. Um, oh, yeah? Well, I found this one in Oklahoma, and it was about half the price of what it was in Texas. So that's why I didn't, <laughs> didn't get more. <laughs> I actually have to say it's like a beer I'm really enjoying drinking it. Yeah. Like, I want more. Yeah. For sure. It's really light and clean and dry. And very, like, again, very effervescent in the mouth. Um, it's like I said before, when uh, before we started recording, uh, this with some like proper Texas style barbecue mm. would be perfect. Yep. If only we lived in Texas. Yeah. Like smoked smoked brisket. Yep. Together with this and some mac and cheese. <gasps> if only we could find some brisket. <gasps> I know. It's kind of the, the hard part. I know. Because I was all like I was all set to, to do some brisket this weekend. Yeah. Could I find any in tech, in Sweden? Yeah. It's a bit of a, a bit of a challenge. But yeah, this is really solid. I'm loving this. I mean, I think this is. <clears throat> I don't mean I can say that I would want to change anything about this. Oh, so we're, we're getting way up in the yeah, in your uh, even the company that you're drinking it with. Nothing. Well, change. obviously the company would need to be yeah. uh, exchanged, but 
<laughs> they always do better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. Something between like the carbonation, like like you said, the aroma, the taste really is ticking all boxes right now. Balance between the hops and the bread strains, and and just a balance between the different bread strains alone is just amazing. I have to admit, every time you say bread strains, I imagine a guy named Brett on a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Brett strains, Brett strains, Brett strains, Brett strains, Brett strains. It's horrible, horrible hemorrhoids from yeah. all the straining. He's he's having Brett a rough strains. time. He's having a rough time, Brett. Poor Brett. Yeah, poor Brett. He's more fiber in his diet. <laughs> and some fucking it's ass called, cream. It's called fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Look into it, Brett. <laughs> Leafy Brett, green. if you're listening. Leafy greens, more broccoli. You'll be fine. It's gonna keep you from straining that much. <laughs> yes. It's All right, come out easier. <laughs> anyway, right. so Chandra, what would you give this one? Four two. Four two. Um, Matthias. Uh, four seven five. Four seven five. I will fall in between, and think I'm going to give it a four five. Ooh, wow, this was a real hit. Um, that was really good. Yeah, I'm. This warms up just a little bit more. I'm even enjoying it more and more. It's, yeah. This gives a lot back, um, and uh, the collective brewing project was something I'll definitely look out for next time I go to. Uh, yeah, if it takes us, I'll, I'll get a few more different uh, things from them. So, I mean, looking at the label, it seems like it's four different breweries who are working together. I don't I, no, it's actually it's actually part. called. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking. It's actually called um, the Collective Brewing Project. And, I mean, uh, that would be based on these four? or No, but Ryan uh, D-Y-E-D, Dayed, is the co-founder and head brewer. Mm-hmm. Um, from my understanding, it's not um, a bunch of different breweries coming together. It's actually just one one brewery doing this. All right. Yeah, some so it might be, uh, maybe it's a couple of different home brewers who got together and, to, and started it? Or? Could be. Could be. We need a little research, maybe find a website for them. And, uh, yeah, we should look it up. Look, look into them and who they are. And we should look it up because I'm, I'm intrigued to see what else they they're do. They're one of the few... Texas breweries I found that are doing Brett based beers. Yeah. Um, they do some sours and stuff. Apart um, from Jester King. Apart from Jester King. Um, and then Martin House is the only kind of Dallas Fort Worth brewery that's doing like sours and, and they have a mm-hmm. um, the Salty Lady, which we've had oh, a yeah, couple yeah, of years yeah. ago. And yeah. they put out a raspberry version of that, which was so freaking good. Nice. Um, and uh, a couple of other versions that have been really good. So. They're kind yeah, of the, the go-to brewery in the DFW region for uh, for sour beers. I definitely want to try more from uh, well, Collective Brewing Project. So that's what we should tell Marcus and more of that stuff. Yes, we will. All right. So you can find us online at What's on Tap Podcast as well as Instagram, Facebook, yeah. uh, Spotify, YouTube. It's been a long time since I did yeah, this. I don't know. I was <laughs> testing your knowledge. I know, right? And Stitcher. Yes. And what's up, podcast.com. Yes. So until next time, keep drinking, you dum-dums. Dum-dums.